guys, I'm going to do a little more of a personal video with you. This is about a charity. Um, my friend sent me this whole fact sheet about it. He said, if you could promote this, this would be great. If it, if it really speaks out to you, go ahead and do it. If it doesn't, no biggie. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> and so I looked at it, and the charity is basically called Homeless Rock Stars. And I know what you're thinking. Homeless musicians playing rock and roll music? A good Dr. Emmettness brownness on my part there, right there. It was just a very great voice actor. And it's not that, actually. What it is is famous rock and roll photographer Nigel Skeet. He takes a lot of professional band um, photos for their Instagram pages and social media and promotional um, sort of marketing communications. And what he does is he actually gets members of the homeless community who are sort of starting on a new track on their lives into his studio. And he does a whole sort of makeover with his team, uh, the Homeless Rockstars team. And they do a makeover of these people, giving them new clothes, um, fresh hair, um, makeup, and basically giving them uh, a fixed up appearance with uh, all sorts of new stuff that they need that can help them get their lives back on track. He also does a video interview after the photo shoot, which basically chronicles the homeless person's um, aspirations, why this person is making this drastic change in their life in a positive direction, where they were before and how that negatively affected them, and um, sort of documenting the strength and willpower that's needed to uh, alter course on your life. And I thought, you know, when... Aaron sent me this email. My power was out. I was driving and then I parked. I was like, you know what? I, I'm just parking for a sec. I'm going to check my email. He sent it like maybe 15 seconds after I parked. And I was like, okay. And a minute later, I was like, yes, yes, we'll do it. We'll do it. And I wrote like a whole essay of paragraphs explaining it. I'm a very good writer. So I, I was able to type that fairly fast on my phone. But I said, yes, I would promote it. It speaks to me. The whole aspect of second chances for people who, who deserve it, who are demonstrating that they're make, willing to make the change necessary to uh, further their lives in a positive way, I think that is awesome. And what the Homeless Rockstars team does in helping them actually makes their whole transition into regular life a lot easier. So these sort of video interviews chronicle the, the whole life of the person, how they've sort of reached their downfall and had to adjust course, so to speak. And this helps them get jobs and Homeless Rockstars keeps in touch with them and keeps tabs on them and does follow-ups later on to make sure they're doing all right. And I thought that was awesome. The whole aspect of a second chance is a great thing. Um, I personally have needed second chances in life before people fuck up all the time. This is a regular thing that happens and a lot of people can get down and sucked into bad paths in life or doing things they don't necessarily want to do, um, that don't make them happy or aren't positively affecting their lives. And to make a, a drastic change like that in a positive direction is something that has to really be applauded. So I, I was like, yes, let's do this. Let's promote Homeless rock stars, And how Homeless rock stars is raising some money. So you're like, okay, this charity seems pretty fucking sick. How are they making money? Well, one aspect of how they're getting some money on um, a recent promotional drive is there's a band called Screaming at Demons... Uh, featuring Shim Moore of Sick Puppies. And the band is donating the proceeds from one of their songs to the charity. So it's sort of like um, a quid pro quo sort of situation. Homeless rock stars helps promote the band. The band helps promote homeless rock stars. Everybody wins. The people who are homeless win. And hopefully you feel better if you are interested in this. Anyway, how this is raising money. Screaming at Demons created a song called Rockstar. This basically documents um, the whole process at Homeless Rockstars featuring one of the people who's gone through the program and is now a successful chef at a restaurant. 
the music video is available on YouTube, but proceeds from the YouTube video and I think from the song itself are going directly to Homeless Rockstars. I think it's all of the proceeds from it, so that is awesome. If you want to check that out, that link will be on the description below. Be sure to check them out. Be like, hey, Jimbo sent me. Or something like that. You don't even have to say that. It's great if you do. I don't care either way. Just check it out if you're interested in making a difference in someone's life. Because this is something that that, that is helping people make positive changes in their lives. And I think that is pretty fucking awesome.